That's my sprite. I got something. I got something new today. We're gonna look at this. It's, it, you can use it to charge your phone. That just seems really weird, a wireless charging notebook. So this comes in two sizes. It comes in the larger version and the smaller version. I prefer the smaller version just for my laptop bag. Let me just pull it out for comparison. Okay, this is the original pocket size, the smaller tool one. We're gonna take it out of its box and take a look at it all together. But it's a Qi charging, um, it's done by the Qi charging that's in every phone right now. If you don't have a phone that doesn't do Qi charging, like well, where, where are you, where, where are you living? So anything from iPhone 8 and up, um, and all those Galaxy ca and those Google Pixels ones. <laughs> this is actually pretty interesting. It's a 5,000 milliamp battery. That's not the best, but it's not terrible. Plus, it's on you. You set it on top of it, like like so. I'm just wondering how hot this is gonna get. So, let's start unboxing this. I'm gonna pull this out here. Let me take one more drink of Sprite. Okay, so this was the smaller one. I believe was seventy dollars. No, sixty dollars. Links in the description. Um, let's see here. So I guess this is brand new because when I went to Office Depot, it was available. And again, not sponsored by them <laughs> whatsoever. I just like their products and like talking about them. So here's the book. So let's just put it back to my other one. Okay, so this is the one I use. So I have less paper in here and this one's full with paper. So it's actually almost, almost as thick. If you can see, let's see how if you can judge their thickness, because this is where the charging coils are, and right here is a USB-C slot. You can see, but let's see what else this box says here. Uh, features: charges and extends battery life on the mobile phones. So it has four power button indicators on this. I didn't see it there. Oh, right here. So this is actually five indicators. Five indicators right along this thing here. And this is that place where you're supposed to say, hey, this is where I'm supposed to put my phone. What else? How to charge the notebook. Insert a USB-A at the end charging table. Make sure it's certified. Insert the USB-C cable into it to make sure it's charged. It's pretty straightforward. Like, if you've used a charging cable before, it says please lift to see if it has anything else. Oh, it's just showing the variety of tool things that are available. We already know about them, so we're just going to leave it like this. On the side of the box, it comes in this, this nice looking case. Shows again the milliamps on it. So it's just kind of square. Let's, let's open this up. You guys, it's a, it's a USB cable. What do we expect? So actually, let's, let's look inside here if there's anything special here. No, nothing really. Just more of the user manual. Oh, so, oh, I thought this was gonna be a whole bunch of different paper in here. But nope, it's the standard uh, tool paper. Standard tool paper. All right, that's it. So, hey, let's plug this in. This is, you can actually hear a click when you put it in. There you go. Oh, and it has an on button. Oh, it looks like it already has three charges in here. So this isn't something that's constantly on. I guess it's something you have to turn on. Didn't know that. Okay, so that's one thing to know if you want to pick this up. So, moment of truth, let's just put our phone on. Oh, okay, so it looks like you have to put your phone, so what most people don't know with phones is you have to put your coil for charging is somewhat in the middle. So what I had here, here, let's, you don't need to see my notifications. And yes, I actually do just have a black screen. Okay, so you see, you kinda gotta move it around to make sure it's charging. So you see it's not charging right now, it's not charging right now, not now. Not now. Hmm. Not now. Oh, so that's interesting to know. So it's charging right now. So if I move it up and to the left of the f here, it stops charging. But if I move it back, it's not, it's not picking up that charge again. So what I'm gonna have to do, if you ever pick this up, is you're gonna have to lift your phone back up and put it back on again, and then you're getting the proper charge. 
Now you see, what is the situation you're ever going to use this? So just because it's, here, let's move this. Just because it is so particular in terms of where you have to put it, I can't really do anything about it, right? So you know you're gonna have to put it right here in the middle. And if you're in a meeting and this gets much pushed up to the side, you've lost your charge. But now it's going into charge again. Oh, I'm sorry, this just seems like a big, this is, seems like a big gimmick to me. I can't recommend anything like this, but if we can, maybe I should just do a teardown of this. But no, I think I actually wanna try using this for a few days or so. Um, hmm. As you can see, it is a much sturdier size than this, because with this one, oh, this is upside down. With this one, this is easy to bend. This one, you can feel the coils in here all together. Now, since this is the first time, I don't know in terms of testing how much can I actually have this thing on for, or is, I wonder if this thing just goes to sleep. Let's actually take a look at this notebook here. This user manual. So you see, even if I flip to the very last page, let's just sharpen it on that. Yeah, sharpening, going into the very last page, it says the flashing indicate, LED indicates that there's an abnormal issue in the wireless charge. No. Okay, well it says charging time depends on the type of device. You gotta check your phone screen to verify. So you know what? We can't actually give it a 100% rating that it's only gonna take this many hours or this much time for it to work. Um, you know what? It's, it says all your standard things in here. It's a USB-A to USB-C. Oh, it comes like that, but it even shows you, it even shows you how it needs to be put. So that's good to know. Altogether, for $70, this is a very premium product. Is it something that I'm going to be picking up myself? Probably not. Well, I can't say that myself because I just bought it. So is this something I would want to keep and use? Well, since I have it, I might as well. But altogether, I don't know if this is something I would actually go out and recommend. And usually I talk about pens most of the time. Let me get more Sprite. Other than that, it's nothing special. Uh, the larger version is, I should have gotten the larger version to actually check on that. I may do another video on that larger version here, but as you can see, this is just going to be kind of standard, straightforward. I wish there was really more to say about this, but unfortunately there isn't. So I think this is where it's just going to get cut off and, well, yeah. There's not really, I'm, I'm so sorry, guys. I really wish there was more to say to this, but there isn't. This is the wireless charging notebook. Oh, okay, so I see this, here's an issue that I see coming up as well. You have to turn this on. Okay, so one thing I'm seeing is, this is very particular. So once these lights go off, this thing shuts down completely. And I guess that's smart because I don't think you want this overheating or accidentally like getting your notebook and paper too hot and then somehow start a fire. But once this is off, once this goes to sleep, you can't charge your phone until you press this button again. So this is currently on right now. So now it's detecting my phone. However, if I were to turn this, nope, just holding. So this button doesn't, there's no hold to sleep. Um, hold to power down. You just make it power down like after a few minutes. Let's see what the manual says about that. Well, the manual says it auto shuts off. The unfortunate thing, it doesn't say how long it takes to auto shut off. Yeah, so I guess we're SOL on trying to find out how long it takes for it to shut off. But see, the lights have gone off right now. So if I have to put my phone in the proper spot, as you can see, it's not charging. 
So this, people are gonna definitely forget this. So now that I press the button, it's green. The blue LEDs are lighting up. Now I got this. The idea, I think, is pretty neat. Um, but if this thing constantly stayed on and they found a way to like cool it so you're not gonna accidentally catch anything on fire, then maybe perhaps this is actually not a bad idea. As of right now, I don't see a huge, huge deal of getting something like this, especially for $70, when there's nicer quality notebooks that you can get right now. Um, I can do without it, maybe you can't, but in a nutshell, that's kind of it for this wireless charging system.